Oh yeah, salt meme income. Uh, what the Beautiful. I, yeah. Um <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, so that's not gonna get dated in ten years. The the best the best way to guarantee a direct hit is uh, just to uh, have the tip aim where you want the ball, uh, want the dart to land, and then wait for that little ball to get there. Although it's taking a sweet time. Ah, no, okay, wow. I failed that one. So yeah, uh, and then when you when you're all set up to throw, you gotta flick uh, the controller to throw the dart. It's there is a slight delay as well. When you do the throw, you gotta kind of time it slightly before it, where it's gonna go. Yeah, like that. There you go. Koro says, Ryuji and Yusuke are just standing there like they're going to get a turn or just have to hear, or they're just here to watch. Uh, that's one of the things that really annoys me about this, is you can only really do it with one person, or I think two. Um, and yeah, it's, I think it's like the chance. others just stand around. It's really annoying. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, Ryuji's gonna well, gonna want to turn now. So yeah, let's do it. Let's. We want to get these done as soon as possible. Really. Kyrie Light says, "I want to visit a place like this. It looks fun." It does. That happens with every Persona. You end up just being like, "I want to go there." Yeah, we we want to go to Japan because of uh, the Persona games. But the problem is, uh, Jude doesn't eat a lot of stuff, so uh, going to Japan is gonna be a bit tricky food wise. Yeah. Also, we don't speak the language, and we'll be those annoying tourists. Yep. <laughs> that too. We would probably have a field day in Akihabara, though. We would just yes. be like, games, games galore! Yeah, I've, I've learned very little Japanese in, uh, on Duolingo, and I really need to start uh, looking at it again. Hey, 180. Great. I realize this. To be fair, I'd end up living on rice there. I'm fairly picky with food myself. I'm fine with rice, but it's like, I would get bored by it very quickly, because it's not a lot to it. If I could just have weird Japanese cereals, uh, I'd be happy. Um, yeah, that's the other thing there um, with this dart mini game when playing with two people. Um, they'll occasionally start freezing up a little bit, uh, and you gotta start pumping them up. You gotta tell them the right answer so that way you're guaranteed uh, for them to get the points down to zero. If you get it wrong, then they won't. They'll, they'll screw up, and then you won't get the zero points. Which can be kind of annoying uh, when you're like on the very last round or whatever, and you really need th those points to go down to zero. Johan asks, any bad social links that come to mind? For me, Yoshida. I really don't like Yoshida. <laughs> um, in terms of Persona 5? Yoshida, I just said. Come on. I mean, I don't hate Yoshida. He's just kind of kind of dull in places. Um, that was tough. Yeah, Persona 5, I don't think there's really any I particularly dislike. I can think of a few in Persona 3 and 4, like Kenji, for example. I don't really like him. I've heard horror stories about uh, the Moon Arcana one, uh, Nozomi. Uh, for 4, wasn't a big fan of Saki's brother. I don't like I either, or uh, uh, to a lesser extent Yumi. Yumi, at the very least, has some sort of reason to be angry and overdramatic, but I was just manipulative. I didn't like her. But yeah, I can't really think of much in five. No, I, it, fives are a pretty solid cast. There's some so. I like more than others, but none of them I would say are bad, per se. Except for Yoshida, in my opinion. Oh, am I mistaken? I thought I heard something about delicious pancakes. No and thus, a meme was born. <laughs> and there it is, yeah. <laughs> oh. A catchy only mentioned pancakes once the entire Persona fandom. Oh my god, he's so obsessed with pancakes! Best thing we discovered from watching the anime is that he has, like, Instagram. Yeah, he just he does a lot of selfies. Yeah, I absolutely adore that addition that he just does selfies and whatnot with food and everything. But yeah, that, uh, we, we've gotten Akechi's confidant now, uh, started, but here's the thing, uh, in the original Persona 5, it was all story-based, his confidant, but they fix it in Royal so now that he actually has a proper confidant. And he's one of the ones you have to max out before the end of November if you want to see the third semester. Hello. A girl, too? Who are they? Oh. <laughs> Say. Oh, boy. Sit down. This round will be on the house. Your business is failing. Stop giving things on the house. <laughs> you got a boyfriend? Nope. Would you like one? <laughs> was, hey, yeah, let's uh, sound the alarm there. Looks like this welcome party is going to turn out quite lively. We should go grab that pot and set up the portable stove, too. Oh, should we? We <laughs> should do that? Oh, yeah, you get right on that with your cat paws. Yeah, who's the one that's got thumbs and is currently in my way? 
Don't you know how busy I am? Guys yeah, you look out. really busy. Her name was on, right? She's a nice girl. Keep it in your pants, man. <laughs> <laughs> Where did I put that pot? Yeah, try looking around. It's like two feet, so Jerome. Yeah. But what do you think about on? Why is he patting the the I mean... tap? <laughs> yeah. This is a good tap. Good, good tap, tap. Good tap. If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to start with. Get used to this, folks. Ryuji! Uh, yeah, you, this is going to happen a lot throughout the Persona 5 games. It's not like it matters who we're going after. Why are we paying to just discuss things? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, why are we actually here? <laughs> yeah. This is like the only time we come to this karaoke club. Also, we never get to see any of them sing, which is just... Fun. Yeah, do like a Yakuza mini game where you can sing. Yeah! <laughs> That'd be amazing. Imagine Yusuke singing. That'd be wonderful. He could be like all graceful and elegant. Or like try and be graceful and elegant, but he's really bad at singing. Or something. Yeah. But he thinks he's really good. Yeah. Uh, real quick here. Well, we were just meeting Chahaya for the first time. She is a fortune teller who can basically tell us little kind of futures. And, and most importantly, can pay to boost your social link status with uh, some whoever you choose. If somebody's being really stingy about going up, you can, you know, pay to make it a bit better. And later on, you can also make it so that you can find out what the correct answers to say during the confidence is. Yeah, it's... She, she herself is a confidant as well. It's quite interesting. Yeah, it's very, very uh, useful. We've been between palaces for two parts now, haven't we? Yeah, something like that. And just real quick, uh, we've now met... We're now meeting the, the real best girl in the game. Not Oya, but Lala Escargo. Oh, yeah. Why can't Lala be a confidant? Yeah, I don't know why she can't be. Yeah, she's really interesting. Yeah, I, I, she's she's a very interesting character when when she's around, but like we never get to really talk to her. Um, Just uh, uh, before you get any further, I was just going to say, oh, yeah. yeah um, for those who haven't played the original Persona 5, these two got a lot of controversy back in the day, um, yeah. mainly because uh, they were not only stereotypical gay people, but... Uh, they take Ryuji away later, and it's a, it, it's got some s suggestive themes as to uh, what they were doing with him afterwards. So uh, they had to tone it down for Royal. Um, I wouldn't say it's still great, but <laughs> no, it's, it's still... Atlas is not the best with the LGBT stuff. They've never been good at it. <laughs> yeah, play Catherine Full Body if you yeah, want a clear play example. Play Catherine Full Body. And get the true ending, and you'll see exactly what we're talking about. My god, do they suck at LGBT stuff. L LGBTQ+. Plus. Yeah, Kanji is probably, like, the only exception. Yeah, I think he's the, probably the best. And I, I guess Lala, but she's more of a drag queen than anything, which is sort of a different personality as opposed to, you know, being a woman trapped in a man's body. Okay, uh, so last time we had the investigation team in uh, Matarami's palace, so now it is time Jeez. for C's. There we go. This uh, the uh, oh my god, I can't actually remember what C's it stands for. This oh, what? Su uh, su uh, well, you forgot what C stands for. I uh, the specialized extracurricular execution. School. Yeah, my my brain just went for a minute. I couldn't what? remember. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fun fact: the anime actually gets that wrong. In one of the close-up shots of the evoker, I've been I've been three D modeling an evoker because um somebody's commissioned me to three D print one, and uh, I have reference material. And in one of the reference materials, or they got the name of C's wrong. Yeah, it's like um what was it? Special extracurricular. Uh, uh yeah, I've got it up here. Spe they they for some, for some reason put special extracurricular execute sector. Yeah. What the hell's an execute sector? And how'd you get that wrong? Yeah. <laughs> It's been written down several times. And here's Saya just blowing up right out of nowhere. Oh, yeah. Comes out of nowhere. I really like Sai, but my goodness, this is just... Yeah. Right there. That was just like the... Oh, bitch. <laughs> but when it comes to what we do, you're useless. On to Kamaki. <gasps> yeah, I get... Yeah, meanwhile, like two seconds ago. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I always felt like Arn kind of came out of place with how kind of rude she was here. Like, I don't know why she gets so aggressive here. Hmm. I always I... like Makoto here where she kind of takes matters into her own hands. Hmm. 
I don't know why she never really ever does it again. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit reckless. It's reckless, but it, it shows her determination, and we never really get to see it quite so much as we do here. Hmm. After this. One of the few F-bombs in the game as well. Yeah. Um, and there, there's F-bomb number two. Yep. Um, and Anko says, it's fine if a Mafia guy drops an F-bomb. Yeah, we don't have a problem with it. It's, they they use the F-bombs pretty sparingly in uh, yeah, Persona 5. Yeah, usually for a decent impact. Yeah, Strikers uh, is probably its best use of it. <laughs> um, Odo's Awakening was cool, says Johan Yorsha. Well, we're about to get there. Yeah, um, and I was just going to say, already we're at possibly the most annoying enemies in this palace. Uh, oh, yeah. oh, One, and because as you saw there, they have an attack called Rampage uh, that can hit you between one to three times, and it is devastating. It's very difficult to uh, get by them, but norm well, normally, I would find the best way to deal with them is to use Ryuji's headbutt skill because that makes them forget, and yep, <laughs> you can see how deadly the Rampage attack is there. Yeah, <laughs> it's always brutal. Ryuji's headbutt skill would ma makes them forget uh, forget uh, their moves. So yeah, um, the only it, way to do it, really. <laughs> yeah, it's the best way to get around them. But luckily, One doesn't appear very often for like maybe the first third of the palace, so we, we won't be dealing with them too often. Shut your damn mouth, you money grubbing asshole! Didn't they change that in the anime? Yeah, she they didn't did. Say money grubbing asshole, which yeah. is like the best Makoto line. Yeah, they, they dumbed it down a bit in the anime. Part of the reason hers is so good is the struggle. And that. She's she's one of the ones that struggles the most to get the mask off and everything. It's a lot more powerful than the other ones. Like, like not just uh, from an emotional standpoint, but from a physical standpoint, too. Just well, yeah, that's, seeing that's her I become mean. stronger. It, well, it just seems... It, it's the most painful looking, I think. Like, like it, she seems to struggle the most with it, so... Huh. I don't think any of us expected that. <laughs> Get in! It's not as cool. Yeah. Why aren't you a bike, Morgana? Me, no matter what. He's the lamest looking shadow version, too. Yes. He's just like his normal self in a suit and purple. Uh, Kanashiro, in general, is just probably one of the weakest um, yeah. uh, enemies in the game, or one of the weakest antagonists. It's just a shame, because, like, even though Kanashiro is, uh, you know, he's a pretty powerful figure, uh, he still comes across as just kind of a boring villain. Yeah, just, he's very generic. Yeah, we just, but we don't really get to see him much as part of the problem, but before we actually step into the palace. But yeah, I, I suppose it, cause we never really get to see him outside of the palace. Well, not very much, anyway, just because he just he does all his business over the phone. First, we need to secure a route to the treasure, like always. Do like you... always, you've done it twice. There's a creep shop at Central Street that. Well, uh, she's. Uh... Wait, did she just say creep shop? Hey, hang on, log that. There's a creep shop at Central Street that... I, I hear creep. I heard creep. Like you're buying creeps. I mean, a, a creep shop sh is probably nothing new to On either. Corho says, I hear creep. Birdman says, it's Hey, I missed it. Shop legal. Oh, he dodged it. Yay. Oh. <laughs> Please head to the exam room. No. What we got? We couldn't uh, just do this over the counter. We had to come in here just so you could put your feet up or something. This is also a really useful ability from Maruki. A chance to restore Joker's SP when it is low. That is going to save our Heine quite a bit. Especially when we get late, uh, late in the palace. Just as well we didn't go into the palace because we're about to get one of the new additions to Royal. Uh, the Showtime Attacks. It's the, its first appearance here. We'll get to see it more in action, but basically they're tag team moves that occasionally activate either uh, through various means, basically, either by uh, weakening an enemy or getting them that low health. Or if you're at low health or if, after a baton pass, it's, there's a number of ways. It's basically a massive move that does a lot of damage. Yeah, it does. And it's but it's it's like between two phantom thieves. I can feel it. One of the best palace themes as well. It's uh, so good that it's uh, appeared in Dancing in Starlight. With Makoto dancing to it and not doing a very good job. Uh, yeah, I, I love Makoto's the girl. Makoto's dancing is terrible in that game. Yeah, I love the girl, but yeah, my god, she's not a very good dancer. I, I I get what they were doing with it. Like the idea was that it was it's basically she's doing uh, Aikido. Um, in her in, in in a dance form and it's a cool idea because that is how she would probably dance 
Mm. But uh, it just it looks awkward and not that great. So yeah, it just doesn't work. Mass destruction. Moo. Ah, oh, Makoto. What? Makoto. Oh, thank God, Joker oh, dodge. Joker, nice. God damn, Makoto. What was that? It's, no, on. We did not all do great. Makoto, come here. We need to have some words, Makoto. What was that? Dare I even mention the new 3DS XL or new 3DS lineup? Oh, Birdman well. says my favorite Wii U game was Nintendo Land. Oh Too my God, people! Come. Yeah, everybody's missing. Um, the Mario uh, Chase. Oh my God! Cause people kept freaking missing. <laughs> this isn't going well. This palace. No, everybody just keeps missing, and I don't get why. All right, people, stop friggin' missing, and let's get on with it. Three Nakamatas, that's easy enough. If Makoto would stop goddamn missing. I don't get, what is with everybody today? Have we not been in a palace for so long that they, they're all just completely out of practice? Maybe. And <laughs> Insert you, Kari, I won't miss here, says Birdman. Yeah. Indeed. No M Makoto, what was that? You're mine. Right. Oh I my god! For God's sake, just stop missing! What is with you all? Makoto's new and everybody's just rusty, that's all. Well, it's getting real annoying. It is. I don't know why I passed the Joker. I should have really pa Oh! Play two without Q2 without playing Q1. Three enemies mixed, Queen. What? Whoa. Three Man, enemies missed. Wow. Just as well we have Yusuke here, otherwise that would have been really embarrassing for you, Makoto. What do you think of the design of this palace? Uh, is it where, where would you rank it on the list? Um, the actual design of the palace itself, not the ruler or the boss. Yeah, or I know what you mean. Um, I don't know, actually. Uh, I'm trying to think if it's better or worse than Okumura's. Uh, I like the design of Okumura's. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> that's kind of the thing it has going for it. But even then, it sort of looks a bit samey after a while. And that's kind of the same with this. This this one has a bit more going for it, but it also has a bit of a design. It's bland design. Yeah. It's, not not it's nothing bit... too interesting going on. Yeah, exactly. So I'm not really sure. And the, uh, yeah, it is a bit easy for me to... Uh, uh, like, get caught in the security cameras. Not not the game's fault, it's just mine. I find I rush too fast, and so I'm just like, ah, who cares? Yeah, so I try and break the security cameras as uh, often as I can. Johan Yarstrom sums it up there. A bank office isn't the most interesting thing. Exactly, it's something like Okumura's, where it's a annoying and confusing, at least it looks interesting. Yeah. Um... And even eventually you get a handle on Okumura's. The particular, yeah, um, and it's, we're it's, specifically talking mostly about that airlock area. Yeah, and it's even um, it's even simpler to do in Royal than it was in the original. Yeah. T-993 again summing it up quite well here as well. It looks like a normal place uh, while the others looks crazy to find in Japan. The outside is the only good looking part of it in the very end. Yeah, oh, exactly. Yeah, it's a good point. Uh, the giant vault and everything is an interesting look and idea. It's just all this is a bit of a snooze fest. Ah, uh, goddammit. Rampage. Aha! Ah Indeed, Morgana. Joker, that was a perfect opportunity and you missed it. Really need to save point soon. They are quite scarce in this place. Yeah, that's probably one of the other reasons uh, this palace probably isn't the best. Mazionga, Jesus Christ. Mazionga, this early out. Indeed, Makoto! Jesus, right, I think, I think Makoto gotta go! <gasps> uh, oh, god damn. Makoto really needs to step it up. She does, yeah, she's not normally this bad. <gasps> no kidding. She can think about what she did while she's frozen. Right, Makoto, we need to have a talk. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, it's this nonsense. Oh, yeah. Not a hard puzzle, it's just really annoying. This is the more interesting part of the bank, I think. Is, this mm. is a more unique design to the idea of a giant locking... Lo lo kind of a giant cylinder or whatever. This distinct shape... 
Could it be? I don't know why Makoto's the only one that figures out that this is just one giant lock. Everything it's it's pretty obvious. You can see it from up there. I'll explain why once I've confirmed my theory. Can you not explain now? You can confirm your theory later. You could just say it. Okay, so we'll come back. It's a, it's, a, it's a growing personal peeve of mine in, in, I guess, TV or games or whatever when they do that. Is like, I'll explain in a bit or whatever. But no, just explain now. <laughs> yeah, just save us the time. And then the character is always being like, hey, can you explain this thing? No, I'll explain later. It's like, oh, come on. But they'll keep asking, and it's really annoying. <laughs> Either just say, yeah, I'll do it later, and then have them wait till later, or just explain now. It's very annoying. <laughs> I have that. The, the most egregious so far has been I've been playing Tales of Arise, and there's a bit where there's a character who says, I need to show you something. And it's like, and uh, you know, a good forty minutes of going through a dungeon, and then like every two minutes in that dungeon, there's a a skit or or whatever you have to uh, you watch, and they're they're just like, hey, can you explain this thing? Says, I'll explain later. But it's just <laughs> that for forty minutes, and then be like, hey, can you explain? No, I'll explain there. Hey, can you explain? No, I'll explain there. Like, just, just just stop asking him. <laughs> he gives you the same answer every time. Indeed. Okay, so, uh, yeah, the trick with this puzzle is just, like, it's sort of like a decryptor. You have to match the letters with the numbers. So if, if you ever uh, had one of those uh, little code wheels as a kid, uh, yeah, that's basically the same thing here. Uh, you can always just uh, go back to the main menu and check the uh, notes section, the little item section. There's Kaneshiro's journal there, and we're going to get more of those pages uh, as we go through the rest of this dungeon. Ah, Makoto! Oh, you are so lucky that Joker dodged that. Zero, nine, three, one. Get it, he said reap, and that that was the code. As in reaping money. Oh, Atlas pointing out the symbolism yet again. They're very good at it. At, at the, like, if they just would stop pointing it out, like, the symbolism would speak for itself and be very clever, but they just need to shut up about it. Indeed. We sure have been poking fun at this game a lot since we started. But we do it out of love. False. Birdman says, I like seeing symbolism and stuff like that in retrospect rather than while I'm going through it. Yeah, it's nice to be able to think about it when you're done or, or at, at, like after you've put the game down for a bit or whatever and you're just thinking about it. You know, it took us a while to kind of piece together that each palace was after the seven deadly sins. Like that, that is prime what we're talking about here. It should like, it. it's not pointed out. Yeah, and even Strikers so, does that pretty well. Yeah, so like, if you just if if you don't really think about it, you know, you could you could pass it by. That's that's what it should be like, really. Um, not balls. No, nope, not what I wanted to do. Bust damn cameras. You know, there's a little lever over there. You don't have to <laughs> kick it. <laughs> okay, we may this... be thieves, but we're we're not vandals. Okay. We need to have it. There we go. I think that's the first time I've ever seen anybody walk in a Persona game. Yeah. So that's two, uh, three, one, nine. Okay. Twenty-three nineteen. Huh. Interesting. Twenty-three nineteen. I, I I wonder if that was done on purpose. You, you like my hat? <laughs> I took a risk. I'm not sure it's worked. People have mistaken me for a lampshade. Ding dong. Yaya yeah, yeah, ding dong. Uh, <laughs> would, would you call this game trash or treasure? What do you think? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's it's trash. It's or... trash. Absolute garbage. <laughs> no, no. Treasure. Igor's on a rampage. Everybody run for your lives. I have no idea what's going on. Son of a bitch, stop killing me. Would you stop it? Uh, so it looks like we're all ready. So let's go fight Kaneshiro. Uh, so personally, I tend to go for Makoto, Yusuke, and Ryuji, mainly because magic doesn't matter a whole lot, I find, with Kaneshiro's boss. And uh, because Yusuke also now has a heavy attack, uh, that's going to do a bit more damage than uh, some of the magic you can use on Kaneshiro as well. So uh, I'm going to try and abuse that. And we're going to put that uh, Crystal of Vanity on 
you skate. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna nullify his weakness. It's gonna make more sense when uh, we get into the fight itself. I'll explain why we're doing that later. Okay, now this Piggy is- a, Yeah, I was gonna say, this is a bit different uh, to vanilla Persona 5. Normally you would be fighting Kaneshiro for a bit and then get the Piggy Tron out, but in Royal they swapped it around. So that way you fight the Piggy Tron first and then Kaneshiro himself. Now this uh, phase with the Piggy Tron actually isn't all that different to uh, vanilla Persona 5. Uh, the only discernible difference is that uh, you can't knock down Kaneshiro himself when he gets on top of the Piggytron and tries to roll over you. And this is why I suggested to put the Crystal of Vanity on Yusuke because uh, that counts as a fire attack, so that's going to knock him over. Okay, uh, yeah, you Sekunda. <laughs> I've never heard that scream from <laughs> Kaneshiro. <laughs> I've never heard that before. Excellent. Well done, everybody. Damn. Good job, team. Yeah. Even Makoto does, and she's un she's feared. Yeah, so this is the new part of uh, the Kaneshiro battle with Royal. Kaneshiro didn't have these two goons with him originally, uh, but they're not too bad anyway, I think. They're, they're I manageable. I remember them being a little easy. Yeah, I, the big I, dude I remember struggling with a little bit. Yeah, I, I think the, the, Con the Piggytron was probably more difficult than this. And the shield guy's pretty easy to kill because he always blocks Kaneshiro whenever he gets attacked. Ah, excellent. Kaneshiro forgets. I, I, I didn't even know you could do that he on him. He can forget? Oh. I didn't know that either. Awesome. I didn't I didn't know the the bosses, like the actual shadows of the of the rulers can have ailments. I think it's just Kaneshiro, because I don't remember anybody else being able to <gasps> He <sighs> He was too busy twiddling his thumbs, Joker. How did you miss? You dig? Uh, this is probably... I also don't understand with this boss is why he suddenly gets all like he's street. A... Yeah, he, he becomes a rapper. <laughs> there we go. Oh my god, uh, Ryuji has his uh, leg clip through. Oh my god! <laughs> never, never noticed that. No, I've never seen that before. <laughs> wow. Are you okay? I, is, are On's fingers clipping through the table too? <laughs> Even after oh my god, they are, yeah. <laughs> I think. Hey, oh, when she moves her hands away, let's let's keep an eye on it. Oh, they are. I think I could see her fingertip. Uh, yeah. Oh, wow. There, Yeah, they are. Look, it's just, it's, you can see it moving through it. Oh, my. Oof. Oof. Atlas, for shame. I guess this represents how everything he did was an well, surprise Joker can lean on that table. <laughs> it's apparently a portal to somewhere else. And uh, thank you, Makoto, for pointing out the symbolism. <laughs> Ryuji's American name is Ryan Smith. Yeah. yeah, I could see that. Oh, we could add that to our American remake of Persona 5. Yeah. With Ron Anderson as Random Amiya. Played by Chris Pratt. Oh, yeah, played by Chris Pratt. Chatster Sly says, Yukari may be annoying, but she's somewhat likable, but not in the answer. Yeah, I think... No. I mean, I already hated her in the ants in the the journey, rather. But yeah, I think the the answer was just the final nail in the coffin. Sealed, sealed the deal. For me, it's always the the one that annoys me most is the blowing up at Mitsuru or like calling her out in the middle of a seas meeting for no good reason. She has a perfectly good explanation for it, and if she, if Yukari had just asked her, like a like a grown adult or something, like on the side or beforehand, she would have avoided. Not only unnecessarily worrying the team, but also getting in a tizzy with bloody Mitsuru. If she mm. just actually bloody talked to somebody instead of constantly just accusing people of things. Also, Stupe is not as funny a joke name as you think it is. Indeed. Yukari. <laughs> it's not funny. It's not clever. In an American remake of P5, it has to be New York or Chicago. Uh, New York, yeah. New York, yeah. If you, if, if, yeah. If you want to be really cliche. Uh, Chester Slice says, what happens if I make you carry my favorite character in the whole series? Would you hate me? Nah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Not really, obviously. Uh, you can like whoever you like, but... Uh, yeah, we, we no, don't like her. We'll, we'll slightly judge you. We mentioned this before, but I, I, I know a lot of people tend to find Hifumi pretty boring, but uh, yeah, I think she's, uh, she's a pretty she's interesting great. character. Yeah. I love Hifumi. Yeah, it's mainly just uh, when she starts delving into her other personality as, like, uh, when she starts really getting into the shogi. But she, aside from that, she she also just has, like, an interesting dilemma. I don't get why a lot of people find her boring. Yeah, I like the overbearing mother arc and everything as well. Yeah. Check. 
It's checkmate. That clank. I don't know what it is about that clank. It just sounds so cool. <laughs> uh, gold. This is it. There we go. Exactly. She just did it did like she just a... do the okay. Simple? Yeah, I just saw that. Oh wow, I n didn't know she did that. What the hell? <laughs> Burner says, "I'm pretty sure P4 and P5 attack parents don't care for them." Yeah, pretty much. Freaking Joker's parents just to get out. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't even call once throughout the whole game. Yu's parents doesn't even check up on him throughout the whole of four. This is probably why you and Joker want to stay in their respective uh, places after the uh, by the end of the game. <laughs> Yeah, so this is what we were talking about earlier in regards to uh, Makoto's confidant, is that there's uh, perhaps a little too much focus on this girl Eiko and her troubles. Um, but like I said, I, I, I would argue that that's kind of the point of Makoto's character. She's interacting with someone her own age and year and whatever. She's just basically learning from her experience what sort of... Trying to understand. Yeah, trying to understand what's... Like, her youth, basically. She's trying to understand her youth and how she can help as the student council president. And it's unfortunate that a lot of people tend to just mainly focus on the fact that Eiko gets more uh, screen time or more attention than uh, Makoto does in her own confidant. But this, yeah, that's just, just me anyway. See, here's another reason uh, Kasumi is probably my second favorite girl. She's got a big appetite, like I do. Although, damn her, because she, yeah, she, she can eat all that and stay skinny, and I can't. On has the same thing with her sweets. She eats a lot of sweets, and it doesn't go anywhere. Yeah, son of a bitch. Luckily, I am the same. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's good for some people. And... Ah, oh, balls. I did have uh, I was at a, my guitar lesson, and the, my teacher asked me what if I had to pick a game to play... For the next 20 years, I can play anything else. What would I play? I said this just on the basis that it's like, you know, it can last you like 90 hours, so you wouldn't have to play it. You you, you could you could get it a lot out of it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I wasn't sure. I'm, I'm kind of interested what, what everybody else would answer. What would you say? This as well? I would probably say this as well, yeah. You, you weren't going to say League of Legends? No, oddly enough, no. <laughs> we can't just pick any old schmo now. Why not? You're supposed to be helping people. <laughs> Shouldn't be about the fame. Oh, catchy. Woo. Damn, he's not ready to level up. I want to go get some pancakes. How about crepes? No. Only pancakes. Crepes are just pancakes trying to disguise themselves. The identity of your opponent is this. If what you told me is true, then this nav thing you've mentioned wouldn't have worked in this case. An astute observation from somebody who didn't realize her sister was part of the fan of things. <laughs> and uh, Robin Battle says, Minato and Mitsuru's voice actors are married in real life. Are they? Huh. huh. Interesting. I didn't know yeah. that. Are they? Let's, I'm, I'm looking this up. Oh, they are. They are married. Wow. Whoa! Interesting. Who knew? Since 2001, apparently. Oh, it's a long time. Yeah. Good for them. Also, the internet's kind of creepy. It's fine <laughs> yeah. Chester Sly says, Reese is a cool character, but her design is overrated to me. It looks like Sailor Moon with a different color scheme. Oh, I really like Reese's design. It's great. I, it's an interesting... I, I, I think the pigtail design is overrated a little bit. Or overused, I should say, not overrated. It seems to be like every anime type game has a character with pigtails like that. Um, and you realize your best girl has yes, pigtails? I'm aware we're talking about that as I'm saying this on this sat right there. I love On, I love her design, it works for her, but I, I do think it has a slightly overused hairstyle in anime type games and, you know, shows and whatnot. And there's our next party member. Yay. Hey, hey, she's the gamer. Uh, well, we're not quite there yet. Uh, and to be fair, it's not as bad here as it is in Strikers and Q2. Yeah, Strikers and Q make it bad. Chester Sly says, I guess in Yuki feels similar. Like, you, Makoto Yuki is, feels like a robot, and I guess acts like a human. That's a, yeah, that's an interesting way to look at it, I suppose. Yeah, because cool, it's a bit more clear in the anime, because Makoto Yuki in the anime specifically says, like, I feel nothing because my parents died. <laughs> Um, in the game, it's not very clear why he's so kind of indifferent. Yeah. And doesn't react to anything, uh, but they kind of make it a thing in the anime and it's better explained. It's an interesting way to look at it. I guess is more human than Makoto Yuki, or acts more human than Makoto Yuki. That's it's quite interesting, actually. I never thought of it that yeah. way. 
Futaba is the best gamer sister, says Robin Battles. Yeah, I, I, I think that's... I think I've always saw her more of a sister character. Yeah, it, it just feels... I think it, it would just be weird. weird. It, it's always been weird to me when you uh, have the option to romance her. Especially she's when, also younger. Yeah, she's yeah. the youngest out of everybody. Yeah, it's just like really weird. Similar thing to the Kawakami thing, where it's just like the age gap is a little. Eh. <laughs> I mean, Not quite it's, as bad as with Kawakami. Yeah, Kawakami, that's a massive age gap, but it's still a little bit iwi. Boom Prower says, "On his best girl." Oh, I like you, Boom Prower. <laughs> We're gonna get along just fine. <laughs> Chorus says, "I'm personally a Kasumi fan myself." My man. Yeah, it's Josh's second pick after Makoto. Yeah. Crips? Crips? Where are the pancakes? <laughs> Get that shit out of here. All right, there we go. There's the stamps I was just talking about. Uh, I can't remember how many there are. Are there like 65 in total? Something uh, like that? Too many. But yeah, normally when you, when you get the stamps, this is where you can upgrade your XP items and money uh, while you're traveling in mementos. It doesn't work while you're in palaces, just when you're in mementos. But I think this is generally a better way uh, to spend your time around mementos than just, you know, doing the, doing the same thing over and over again by fulfilling requests. I think this was a nice addition. It, it, it added a bit more to mementos, especially when uh, considering that they use randomly generated floors a la Persona 3 and 4. And yeah, you can use the flowers as well to trade for uh, specific items that you can't really get easily in the real world. I don't remember doing much with the flowers. I always never had quite enough by the time I was leaving. <laughs> I think this was, I can't remember if this was also new to, to Royal, I'm not 100% sure, don't quote me on it, but uh, seeing the shadows trying to negotiate with you, the me mementos important ones for the requests, uh, they try to talk to you before you kill they them. They don't do it very often. It's no, it's like, very I, rare. I feel like it's, it's like this time and like one or two other times besides that and never again. Yeah, just before we carry on as well, uh, this is also a new addition to Royal, there's the different changes to uh, Memento's room. So it's random, but occasionally the lay uh, the uh, floor will have a different uh, sort of condition. Like, so for this instance, the room is full of darkness, um, but sometimes like the Reaper will come out straight away. It could just be a number of things. Like there could be like a number of treasure demons lying around as well as we, as we got one here. Let's it turn up the volume for the music in this area. <laughs> Love this music so much. Yeah, we're done now. <laughs> Aww. Let's rock, fist of the phantom star. Sorry. Still great. Yeah, always. I always love this one. <laughs> Doing some Doctor Strange stuff here. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> All right, extra. We just want you to do this very convincing laugh for us. Can you do that? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> great. Well, good job. Good enough. <laughs> Chaz, her slice is not gonna lie, Haru's my least favorite thief, but her phantom thief attire is awesome. It is if we're awesome. basically on vanilla, I can understand that, but with Royal and Strikers Haru, she's amazing. Once she gets more time to actually be a character, she's great. And yeah. if you do her confidant as well, it's amazing. But, um... Yeah, that is kind of the only problem with Haru in the original Persona 5, is that... Like, it's so late in the game that, uh, there's probably not gonna be that many people who will be bothered to actually... Uh, do her confidant. I, and, cer and I she, certainly didn't on my first playthrough. No, I didn't either. And story-wise, like, the moment she becomes a party member and you finish that palace, so much stuff happens in the story, she does not even get a chance yeah. to be a character, really. She doesn't get to interact with people very much. No, not at all. But, yeah, they really improved it in here, in, in Royal and Strikers. Doing good? Oh. There it is. Doing good? I'm, I'm actually not doing good, Jose. I've had uh, a lot of issues. Is Here, Jose I, he, wearing a hat, or is it his hair? Well, he's a robot from the looks of it, so I would guess I don't know hair. what he is. It's so... Yeah, they never explain it! <laughs> it's infuriating! What did you say? What? <laughs> oh, you're going down? Just send... Let me at him! Send Jude into the virtual world. If I can have a persona, I'd be up for it. Pursue rehabilitation with all your body and uh, Yeah, I can't hear you, Igor. There's an alarm going off. <laughs> what? We're gonna use the strong stuff today. I'm very excited by that. I'm not usually a big fan of Caroline, but I love her during the alarms because she just gets so like psychotic. No, not this again. <laughs> it's not what you think. 
Um, what are the angles of B and E? Hang on, if the angle C is 20 degrees, the angle is 80 or 88 degrees... I, I was thinking it B was 40. E? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Well, didn't they say earlier it was like 180? It was 180 total, I think. Yeah, so should it, should, should it be... We're doing basic math here, people. <laughs> 116, so 64 it should be. Okay, I'll take your word for it. We can do this. Oh, oh! Good job. Go me. I could do basic math. <laughs> and how did you do in school? Not at all well. <laughs> An extra week, huh? The only people who get that kind of cushy treatment are the honor students. Oh, you mean like Yoshizawa-san. I heard the school moved her exam period. Must be nice I'm just gonna stand here and do absolutely nothing about these gossiping girls. Well, I like they just stood there while they waited for them to finish. <laughs> so just wait, wait, I'm, I'm interested in hearing about this Yoshizawa-san. Yes.